Delta creates artificial canal after 50 years of devastating flooding in Delta community. Delta state government has brought respite to a community that for over 50 years has suffered massive flooding in the community. An artificial canal has been created by Governor Rife Nyakawa to aid the challenge of residents in the community. For over 50 years, residents of Shigu, an agrarian community in Eniaka South local government area of Delta State slept with one eye closed due to the fear of uncertainty occasioned by the environmental-related challenges caused by flooding that bedeviled the community. The devastating impacts of the flood over the years have become a bugging playmate which as a matter of fact reportedly ascended to its apex during the rainy season when the rampaging flood water demonstrates its strength leaving the people in a hopeless situation. It was this development that prompted Governor Rife Nyakawa of Delta State to create a 10 km artificial canal from Shigu to the Iiedi River for onward discharge to River Ace, a major tributary of River Niger. The team that inspected the artificial canal at Shigu in Aniaka South Council area of Delta State. This effort, according to the State Commissioner for Environment, Bar. John Nani, will not only address the perennial flooding challenge of the community but will improve water transportation which will boost agricultural produce from the area. He explained that the ministry has been inundated with reports of the devastating impact of the flood on the community for years but because of the proactive and visionary foresight of the governor, we are here to permanently address the flooding challenges in this part of the state. You will recall that we mobilized here last year at the peak of the flood to set up palliative measures by opening some natural water canals which did not only result in the rapid and easy flow of flood water from our homes but has also provided dry land for improved agricultural yield, Nani said. Nani stressed that Governor Kawa insisted on the need to permanently address the situation for the benefit of the people and has graciously approved the opening of existing canals and creating of new ones to tackle the flooding challenge permanently in the area. Honorable Nani who took a boat ride on the new canal stated that about 8 km out of the proposed 10 km canal has been completed with the effort already yielding its expected positive result. With the massive flow of flood water and the current of the new canal, I am convinced that our efforts are yielding the needed positive result already. We will continue to improve on our effort to ensure that Shiguyilu Road turns stream dry up for socio-economic activities to resume on that road. Later at the Palace of Obianim II of Shigu Kingdom, the commissioner advised the community to jealously protect this humane efforts of the government by discouraging indiscriminate dumping of waste on drainages and water canals saying that this water bodies has never been the safest and convenient place for waste disposal has it turn out to negatively affect the community where everyone becomes a casualty. Accompanied by member representing Aniaka South constituency in the State House of Assembly, Hon. Angela Nwaka, Nani warned against building on water canals and urged the Obi and Council to help disseminate the information to his subjects as government will not tolerate blocking of these canals. Nani also commended the community for the support given to the officials of the ministry so far and urged them not to relent in their encouragements and support to the team for their remaining days in the community. Earlier, the community which spoke through a former commissioner for works, Chief Jerry Asai, expressed thanks and gratitude to Gov. A cow for remembering the community and his even distribution of prosperity across the state. He stated that the community will remember this kind gesture of the state government for a very long time saying that what the governor has done is unprecedented considering the challenging economic realities of the state. 
He also passionately commended the sincere efforts of Nani saying that their wonderful contributions to salvage Shigu, Yelu and neighboring communities will not go unnoticed. Emotions will fail me if I go memory lane to recount all of that we have lost to the ravaging flood for the past 50 years but we thank God for using Governor Kao and his team to wipe our tears. May God richly bless Akao and continue to grant him the enablement to pilot the affairs of the state to a greater height, he added. <laughs>